Hi everybody and welcome to Chelsea Groton Banks Facebook video. It is Friday, so we are crafting with Chelsea. Um, today we're going to make a really cool picture frame um, holder type thing for those pictures that you don't have frames for or kids want to be able to display or change out. This is really great for 2020 graduates. Um, for photos of their friends, uh, for going off to college. This is great for a kid's room. You could do it on um, a much larger scale and put it in a living room. Um, it's it's gonna be really, it's, it's kind of a cool concept. So the things that you're going to need, um, an X-Acto knife or a box cutter. Um, I have, I am using circles, but you could definitely use squares. So you need two things that are different um, oops, sized circles. I used this pot and um, this tray. Um, you are going to need a, a piece of chalk depending upon um, what you have for foam core or board or wood. Um, I am using some black foam core as my base. So um, this I happen to just have uh, around the house, but um, you know, if you've got something else laying around, do you have an old box? Could you paint it? Um, do you have foam core laying around? Do you have a piece of scrap wood? Do you have a saw? You'd need a saw if you're going to use a piece of wood, but that would be really pretty. Um, and you're going to need some um, clothespins. Um, I have a bunch of these left over from a project that we did last year in the summer with um, Chelsea's STEAM summer classes. Um, you're also going to need some paints um, or some glitters. Um, you can use markers, you can use stickers, you can use colored pencils. You can basically do whatever you want. Um, so, and that is to um, color these. So you could color them with a marker, you could color them with a Sharpie, you can paint them, which is what I did. Um, you can put a little glue and glitter on, um, which I also did. And um, then you're going to need a piece of foam core. So what I did is I like an off-center circle. So I've drawn the big circle first, then I've put the smaller circle in the middle a little bit off-center so that it's much bigger space area up here than it is at the bottom, okay? Um, so then I have um, put some Elmer's glue on some of these um, and then dip them in the glitter. And then you get this, which is um, going away with my green screen. So you get, you get this. Um, and then I painted some black like this. Um, but you could do any color, you could do school colors, you could do whatever colors their room are. If you wanted to do it for a wedding, you could do white or your wedding colors. There is a thousand options out there, okay? So then I used the X-Acto knife and I cut out my foam core board. So I ended up with this circle, okay? So then um, it was already black, so I didn't have to do anything else to it. Um, I added class of 2020 on here because I have a high school graduate and I thought it would be really cool to clip um, some pictures from his graduation in here or um, for uh, baby pictures or something like that uh, for his graduation. I just used um, a paint marker to write on the phone core with. And then I'm going to begin hot gluing on um, my uh, clips, okay? So, let's see. I dropped, I dropped my hot glue gun on the floor. So I've left you off here with a black one. So um, you're going to look at your clip. Um, the other side is the one my glitter one wants to keep disappearing in my green screen. Um, my, my glitter one, you're gonna wanna look at the, flip it over and look at the back. You don't wanna glue on the side that clips. You wanna glue on the top part. So just um, put some glitter on there. I mean, put some glue on there. I mean, you can put glitter on there if you want to, but. Um, and then you're just going to stick 
the clip side to the board, okay? So that you can pinch it open. When I dropped my, when I dropped my glue gun, I also dropped my glue stick. Um, and then you're just gonna keep going around. I did some of it for you so you don't have to um, have me sitting here uh, gluing on 500 clips to this. I would watch your spacing, okay? Don't, don't put them super close because when you clip pictures into them, they will overlap each other. So um, give a little bit of room in between each clip so that when you clip your pictures on, um, you, it, will, it will have plenty of room to show. Um, so I have some more, uh, my clips back here. So I'm gonna continue gluing them around the outside of my frame. You're gonna wanna use a good amount of glue to hold it on there, okay? So the fun thing about this is, especially for a kid's room, um, they'll be able to change out photos so um, they can, um, you know, whatever strikes their mood at any one time, they can change it out. Um, they don't, it doesn't have to remain the same. Um, that's why it's always also great for a dorm room and not everybody um, prints pictures anymore, but it's um, a really fun way to be able to um, remember something that happened or um, if you print photos of graduation, um, if you have family photos done, it would be really great at a wedding. Um, if you have one of those um, Polaroid type cameras, you could have people um, clip um, photos of themselves. So I finished um, gluing all the way around. So I have some glitter ones, I have some black ones, my background is black. Um, and then uh, you're gonna let it dry. And then you can clip things. And even if you didn't wanna use this for photos, you could use it for um, cards at, at the holiday, at Christmas time or the holidays. So you're just gonna um, clip in your items and um, you can hang it on the wall um, because you're using foam core for this it's going to be fairly light even though the um, the clips are going to make it a little bit on the heavier side so um, you can uh, attach something on the back like a hook so that or a, just a loop of ribbon so that you can hang it up on a hook or um, if you had some really good magnets, you could put a bunch of magnets on it. You could make it absolutely huge. You could make it very small. Um, it's really up to you about how you do it. Um, this is just kind of a fun activity and um, a really um, interesting use. So um, have a great week. We will see you next week and uh, get on out there and get crafting. Bye-bye.